thinking of moving to Evansville, Indiana? If so, stay tuned. I'm going to tell you the pros and the cons of living here in our view. from Kia Associates Signature Realty and we love doing videos of work living and playing here in Southern Indiana so if you're new to our channel make sure you subscribe to that button and click that bell so you don't miss our future videos and if you really like this video smash that like button because the YouTube channel algorithm loves it okay we're gonna start with the cons first of living in Evansville the first con is is our weather we basically do have hot and humid summers, cold winters sometimes, and the worst of all, tornadoes do come through this area. Uh, we are in the, the corridor of where tornadoes come through and they do hit. Hopefully most of the time they do hit in the outskirts, in the fields, the farmland more, but there are subdivisions that have been hit. So that is a negative. They're not huge, strong tornadoes that come through, but they are still vicious and dangerous when they do come through. So that is a negative to the area. But as a positive from the con, <laughs> a lot of people like Four Seasons. So we definitely get the Four Seasons here in Evansville, Indiana. The second con to Evansville is the isolation. Evansville, before probably 69, really was on its own little peninsula here. So there is a lot of isolation in Evansville, the city itself but it gives that small town feel, which is kind of the plus that I will actually give to you later. The negative of the, the isolation is that we are still central to a lot of major cities. If you do want to get into that big city environment, for example, we got Nashville South, St. Louis uh, West, Cincinnati East, and Indianapolis North. So to the con part of it, we are very centrally located to big cities, even though we are in an isolation area of Indiana. The third con to Evansville is our entertainment. We still do have a lot of stuff to do, but we do not get the big ticket items. We don't have the huge names that come for the concerts. We do not have the big sports teams here in Evansville. We do have the smaller leagues like the Otters and stuff like that. But in general, if you're looking for that kind of city with those big, big team names, that is not gonna be found here in Evansville. And again, like I said, the entertainment is just a little bit more limited, but still there's a lot to do here. Okay, the fourth con, which you probably aren't even thinking about, but the central and eastern time zone. Evansville is actually central time, but most of Indiana is on eastern time. So it can be very confusing when you're talking to other people in the whole state of Indiana. So we do follow more the Chicago time zone and kind of have our own little corner pocket of central time. But it can be confusing when you're in the local area. Sometimes could be fast time or slow time if you are on that line, which is only maybe 30, 40 minutes from where we're at, possibly 45 to an hour, depending on what direction you're going. So now on to the pros of living in Evansville, which I absolutely love and some great things here. The number one is the cost of living. We are number four in the United States for cost of living. I'm not gonna dwell into the details of the cost of living. I actually have a video that we've done on Evansville's cost of living. So just look above here right now in the video and you'll see a link that you can click on if you want some more details on the cost of living. But definitely a great place for millennials is one of the top places to come. But in general, if you're trying to get out of those higher cost of living cities, Evansville is a good place to land. So number two pro is our healthcare system. We have a great healthcare system, lots of options. We have uh, Deaconess as well as St. Vincent that have multiple hospital locations here in the Evansville area. In addition, recently, we just opened up downtown the Stones Family Medicine Center, which is a great place for multiple universities that are coming together for students to learn and start their healthcare system career and just a great opportunity economically for Evansville as well. So if you're gonna get sick, Evansville is a great place to be.
My third pro on the list is people here in Evansville are just friendly. We have Hoosier hospitality. That's what we're known for as a state and Evansville is strong with it. People will wave at you. People will still open the doors. They will smile. So count on nice people if you're moving to this area. My fourth pro is that it's a small town with big amenities. It definitely feels like a small town, but you still have stuff around that you have access to. There is a lot of subdivisions, very family friendly environment if you're looking for that as well. But in general, it is a great place if you want to feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere sometimes because there are parts of Evansville that are like that, that have that country atmosphere, but you still are close to a lot of amenities if you want to be nearby shopping and things like that uh, in regards to having access to. So great, great town if you want that small town feel. I hope you enjoyed our video of the pros and cons of Evansville. If you have your own pros and cons, I would love you to comment below uh, just so I might have missed something. But in general, we love Evansville. It is a great place to live. If you are looking to move or relocate to the area, feel free to reach out to us. We are local realtors. You can reach me again at 812-686-3268. And until next time, I'll see you then.